got him. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Go, 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 go. The train's coming! Max, please! <laughs> but which wire to cut? It's the red one! It's always the red one. You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lane. The fuck? I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Yeah, a good one. You change your damn hair color and grow the fuck up. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Oh yeah, Splinter Cell? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change, and your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. How does the train not see her from far away, though? Like, I understand when it gets closer, you can't see her, but... From far away, I'm like, oh, it's something blue in the tracks break. Finally back in school. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Fuck that principal. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. I wouldn't want to be at an end-of-the-world party with Nathan. It's the invasion of the Vortex Club. I wonder if going to that club is gonna give me a... Uh, Justin always looks stoned. Gonna give me some proof on that video for that chick. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? There was just a lot going on. With the fire alarm and, and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. <sighs> Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me, Max. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. You ain't even moving, liar. Forget you. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. 
Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Trevor surveys his domain. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Now why would Frank Bowers have your bracelet? Good thing I left my AK at home. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. Hmm. It's ironic. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Coincidence. I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me out, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. Fuck you. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. I mean, you might as well put me on the fucking guest list. No, I mean. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like... I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Forget it, Max. No soiree for you. Hey, Courtney. I better have a different Ciao. option now. Really? Oh, like... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Hook, line, and sinker, bleep. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sex in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. And what does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. I don't go to games. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Motherfucking Warren. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. I 
hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you, you have can't to talk help to me, me, Kate. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Yeah. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Just leave me alone. Nah, let me get in your face, cuz. Where you going? Please, leave me alone. Now! Fine. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance. I wish I didn't. Every signature counts. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. I regret. Max, with students like you, we sure will. That decision. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. <laughs> I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist. And a terrific theater. I've been here a little longer. <laughs> but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. God, you're annoying. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but... I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Bring me the brain, Igor. <laughs> Look at this bitch. Think, the brain, think. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. This can't be that hard. Howdy, bro. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. Ugh, her voice. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. It's potassium, obviously. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me. I have to add I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max. There was another Sodium. option. I fucking missed it. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip.
Hey, asking have that. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you next? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share it? I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be as popular as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um... Hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Rewind all that shit. Sorry. I'm only... Just between... You're not the only... Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends. Rachel Amber? With all... Rachel was... Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen... Should I? Excuse okay, then. <laughs>